investment grade issuance just slamming. But how much is left in the pipeline now? I mean, there's a decent amount still to go. I think March will be an, another incredibly active month. I mean, we hit the ground running in 2024. It's yet to show any signs of losing steam. And we printed $53 billion already over a three-day week. But if you want any indicator of just the outright strength of the technical backdrop and investment grade, um, this reemergence of Friday is actually a viable execution window, is it. And we're, we're seeing that evidence here again today. There's a jumbo financing for Solventum which is a deal Barclays is involved with. Um, and I, I think there's increased expectations that that theme will continue uh, into Q2. Um, you know, you'd have to, in 2023, I think there were maybe five days in all of 2023 that were supportive of Friday issuance. So it just gives you a sense of the backdrop we're operating in. It feels like demand is just insatiable here. And if you're on the buy side, and if you see $80 billion, $85 billion coming in for a $15 billion offer, Matt, what does it feel like to you to be sitting on the other side of that? And do you like where spreads are even at right now <laughs> well i don't I can't say i love where spreads are at but it's all about yield and and so we've been very very busy this week just taking a deal after deal and it's just been incredible how easily it's been absorbed and at the end of the week you know here we are on a friday and Megan mentioned there's a solventum deal out there and i, I can't say whether they're going to buy it or not but if we were i feel like i was going to have to beg wolfie on the over at jp morgan for bonds but i just could ask megan if we were to buy that you know maybe she could give me some more because we still have cash and that's the crazy thing that's going on right now there's been so much supply and yet you're not done with being able to buy enough and it's just unbelievable 